Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is another episode of Eve to Engines. We are on episode nine, and we are pumping oil. So this is going to be my advanced oil guide. If you don't know how to drill for oil, be sure to check out that episode. Uh, and I'll leave a link in the description for that. So for what you, what you guys are going to need for advanced oil is a diesel engine. And I would highly recommend that you build a delivery truck or get access to a delivery truck for this. It's going to help massively um, just because we have so many tanks that we need to transport. When you use an engine to get oil, you get 24 tanks. So I've brought some tanks and I um, put them here at our oil rig. But the rest of them are here. Uh, I haven't brought them over yet. So we'll load up the truck and bring all those. You're gonna need kerosene to fuel the engine. So always be sure to bring a tank of Kuro with you. Um, if you bring one that only has one tick, then you can then use that tank. So after you fuel the engine, it'll be empty and you can get some more. But our rig isn't very far away. Only 310 meters. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Just gonna load up all my tanks. And yeah, that is a full truck. I think I need this one, so let's bring this one too. And then the other thing you guys are gonna need in order to make a spigot for your uh, engine is a fuel injection nozzle and a steel pipe. The steel pipe is pretty basic, but the fuel injection nozzle is a little more complex. I did make uh, two of these in my engine building episode. So if you need to know how to make a fuel injection nozzle for this project, check that out. Um, and you will need an engine, so I recommend making it at the same time, just make an extra fuel nozzle body and an extra valve. And then we're also going to need this hammer. That's what we use to set the pipe and make the spigot. Right, let me find my map. And we will head to the site. Nice, right, so here we are. So I'm going to go ahead and take out everything that is not a tank, an empty tank rather. All right. And then we'll go ahead and fill this thing up. There we are. All right, so you've drilled for oil. You've got your wet drilling oil rig. We don't need this anymore. We are going to take it apart. So just click and it'll come apart one piece at a time. And we've got a wet oil well. So it's really pretty simple. Once you've done your drilling, all you have to do is grab your diesel engine and put that right on the wet oil well. And you've got your empty oil pump. Now this can't be removed. Oh, actually it can be removed. Um, but if you fuel it, then it it can't be removed until it's empty. So now I can't remove this and we've got to pump all of our oil in order to recover this engine and use it for something else. So put your steel pipe in the tile in front, uh, kind of right in front of this little pipe that's coming out of your engine and you're gonna use it twice to make this west to southward pipe elbow. It's 
points down and then you know you've got it. You add your fuel injection nozzle onto that and you've got a oil spigot. So to take this apart we just use our hammer again but first we need to pump out some oil. And like I said we will get 24 tanks from this. So I'm going to set these tanks nearby. This will be three and then tr the truck holds a total of 21. So I can't put anything else in here. It's got 21 tanks in it. And all you have to do is take your empty tank and put it on there and the oil pump will do its thing. It doesn't take very long to fill one tank. And just click and swap them like that. Now, once you've got these first few done, you can right click your truck, click here, and that's a really simple way to do it. You just right click to switch out your tank, put the new tank on, and you'll be done before you know it. So this method is much more efficient than the oil pump jack method. With that, uh, I did do that on this server and I only got five tanks of crude oil with the oil pump jack. And it took um, a tire for each tank. So it was a lot more work for a lot less reward. And with this, you do have to make an engine, but if you've got the iron for that, it's really not too crazy, and you can get a lot more oil. And you can see the fuel level's getting low. There's just one more tick. So we must be getting pretty close to empty on this rig. And we grab one more tank here. And yeah, that's it. So now this thing is exhausted. We can go ahead and take our fuel nozzle off. Then we have to use our hammer on this a few times until it just goes back to being a steel pipe. And now that this is exhausted, we've got all of our tanks of oil out. We can take this off. And that is our exhausted oil well. So what I like to do <clears throat> once I get this exhausted oil well is to make a new map for the next location. So this one's done. I'll erase this when I get home. But let's take this and let's go for a little scout. So when you drill these, it taps out the oil in like a 200 tile radius around you. So we're just going to go at a bit of a diagonal and see if we can't find our next tire spot. So it looks like there's one here. There's a little gas vent. And yeah, there's a tire spot right there. So I'll just make a map to this. New target spot. And 
And then once we've run out of oil, we can come back here and we'll have a new Tari spot ready for us. To make those maps, you need a piece of paper and then you put a bowl of water on some coals, get some simmering water, and then throw some indigo in there, which looks uh, just like this, just a plant that you find out in the yellow biome. And then you can dye your paper blue, and then that's a, that's a map. All right, and our other rig should be around here somewhere. Oh, we met, we passed by it. Great. So I'll bring these maps back home with me. But then the rest of the stuff I am just going to leave here. Um, there's not much point in bringing all this home other than the oil uh, because we're going to need it again once we run out. And so it's just a little simpler if you keep it in the Arctic um, where the drilling needs to be done. And here we are. And we should be all set on oil for a good long while. I hope you enjoyed the guide and found it useful. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.